Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this video titled Dividing Fractions, and before we get started you will need your math journal pencil and also open up your math book to page 89. So let's go ahead and get there. And the goal for today's video, you'll want to write this down, is we're going to look at dividing fractions. So what is the goal? Be able to divide a fraction, whole number, or mixed number by a fraction or a mixed number. So we're going to look at a couple of example problems today in the video that will help you get ready for the lesson. So let's go ahead and turn to page 92, and we're going to take a look at question 3 on 92. So what we have here is we have a whole number being divided by a fraction. So we have 10 divided by 5 sixths. So what we can see here, first of all, is we're going to write out a fraction, 10. It's going to be 10 over 1 divided by 5 sixths. Okay, so now whenever you're dividing fractions, we're going to use this simple way to remember what to do when we divide fractions. So we're going to do the keep, k, change, flip. Okay, so what does that mean? What that means is whenever we're dividing our fractions here, we're going to keep the 10 over 1, the first number, the dividend. We're going to change the division sign to multiplication, and then we're going to flip the second number, the divisor, to its reciprocal. So what we do here is we do 10 over 1. We're going to multiply 6 over 5. So we keep the dividend, we change division to multiplication, and then we flip the divisor to its reciprocal. Now what we do is we just simply multiply. 10 times 6 is going to give me 60. 1 times 5 is 5. We don't need to get a common denominator with multiplication. And now we have 60 over 5. Now, in order to get this in simplest terms, we need to take 5 into 60. That's going to go 12 times with nothing left over. We have a remainder of 0, which you would not even put up there. All right, so we don't have a remainder. So 10 divided by 5 sixths is going to equal 12. So again, anytime you see a whole number, to change that to a fraction, you put it over 1. You keep, you change, you flip. Okay, now let's take a look at number 8 on the same page. We have 6 divided by 4 ninths. So we can write this out. 6 over 1. I want you to do this with me divided by 4 ninths. So if you remember, you keep, you change, you flip. So we keep 6 over 1, change mul division to multiplication, and then you get the reciprocal. You flip this divisor to 9 over 4. Now we just simply multiply from here. 6 times 9, 54. 1 times 4 is 4. Now what we need to do, we need to simplify this. Okay, so we take 4 into 54. 4 goes into 5 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. Then we have 14. 4 into 14 is going to go 3 times without going over. 3 times 4 is 12. And now we have a remainder of 2. Okay, so now we got to figure out what numbers are a part of our mixed number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this section because we're kind of running out of room here. So we have 13 with a remainder of 2. So the dividend for your division problem is going to be your whole number. The remainder, think about that R, means right on top in your de denominator stays the same. So 13 and 2 fourths, that 2 fourths can be simplified to 13 and 1 half. Okay, so we can see 6 divided by 4 ninths is 13 and a half. All right, now we're going to flip over to page 95 and we're going to do number 3 on page 95. Let's go ahead and get there. Now we have 2 thirds divided by 1 ninth. 
So we don't have any whole numbers or anything like that. So we can just keep, change, flip. So we keep the two thirds, change division sign to multiplication, and then flip that one ninth to nine over one. Now that we have done this, we can just multiply. Two times nine is 18. Three times one is three. Now we need to set up a division problem to simplify this. Three into 18 is going to go six times with nothing left over. So the answer to this problem we can see is the whole number six. So two thirds divided by one ninth is six. Now let's take a look at number six. We have six sevenths divided by one fifth. So once again, you keep, you change, you flip. Every single time whenever you're dividing fractions, you keep the six seventh, you change division to multiplication, and then you flip the reciprocal to five over one. Now we can multiply, six times five is 30, seven times one is seven, now we're going to change that into a mixed number. So we take 7 into 30. It's going to go 4 times. 4 times 7 is 28. With 2 left over. Now for our mixed number, the, the division answer, dividend, is going to be our whole number. Remainder is 2. Denominator stays the same for 4 and 2 sevenths. Okay, now let's jump on over to page 100. We're gonna take a look at number one on page 100. So let's get there. And what we have for this is we have a fraction divided by a mixed number. So what we need to do, first of all, we can write out our five ninths. And then we need to change that improper fraction, I'm sorry, that mixed number to an improper fraction. So what we do, four and one third. We got to multiply denominator by whole number, then add the numerator. So what we have here, four times three is 12 plus one is 13. Denominator stays the same. Okay, so now we have five ninths divided by 13 thirds. Now what we need to do first of all, before we start anything, is we got to remember keep, change, flip, Keep the five ninths, change division to multiplication, and then the reciprocal. Whenever I say reciprocal, that means you flip the numerator and denominator to three thirteenths. So now that we have this problem, we're going to take five times three, it's going to give us 15. Nine times 13 is 117. So now what we need to do is we need to think about if there are any numbers out there that can go into 15 and 17. Okay, so one of the divisibility rules we talked about, whenever you add the sum of the numbers, in other words, 1 and 5, that gives me 6. 11 and 7 gives me 18. Those two numbers can be divided by 3. So because of that, we know 15, 17. 117 can be divided by 3 as well. So what we have here, we take 15 divided by 3, 117 divided by 3 is going to give us 5 39ths. Okay, now we're going to take a look at number 2 on page 100. So what we have here, we have 2 and 3 fifths divided by 1 and 8 ninths. So before we do anything, we got to change both of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So what we can see here, we got to add, sorry, multiply, then add. And we can just write that out here, two and three fifths. We multiply and then add. So two times five is 10 plus three is 13. And we keep that five the same. Now 1 and 8 ninths, multiply the 1 times 9 and then add the numerator. 1 times 9 is 9 plus 8 is 17, and then we keep the 9 the same. 
Now you can see we have our division problem, 13 fifths divided by 17 ninths. Once again, we need to keep, change, flip. So keep, change, flip. Okay, so we're gonna take 13 fifths, multiply it by nine over 17. So now that we have this set up, 13 times 9 is going to give us 117. 5 times 17 is 85. Now we need to change this improper fraction to a mixed number. So we have 85 into 117. Okay, we know 85 goes into 117 one time. 1 times 85 is 85. 5, 7 minus 5 is 2, and then we have 11 minus 8 is 3, so we have a remainder of 32. Now we need to figure out what all goes into our mixed number, so the dividend is always going to be your whole number, so that's going to be 1. The remainder, remember that stands for right on top of the fraction, that R is 32. Denominator stays the same for 85. So we can see our answer is 1 and 32 80 fifths. So this concludes the video on dividing fractions. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.